well, welcome, Scott. Yeah? Thank you. Uh, it's, it's more of a welcome back, really. You've uh, a lot of experience here. Can you tell us your connection to Nottingham? Well, I was born in Nottingham. I, I thought I was born in Stenton, but apparently uh, I found out that I was born in St Anne's. I think my dad probably said Stenton, trying to be posh. <laughs> that was the uh, that was his idea of uh, uh, ambition. Uh, Stenton. They could have said Woolerton or the park, but Stenton was good enough. Stenton is not too bad, I suppose. And how long uh, did you live around here? Uh, well, uh, my family still live around here. And I'm stopping at my sister's uh, whilst the festival's on. Um, I lived. Uh, we moved to Bilbra uh, when I was about um, uh, about eight, and I lived uh, at Bilbra till about. Uh, uh, 20, then uh, Bread and Lord Island, oh, right, uh, West yes. Bridgeford for a while, Crotwell Bishop, um, uh, Arnold, um, and then I left uh, for love. Uh, I went to Manchester um, uh, when I was about 25, 26. Uh, my girlfriend then moved to London and I thought, I don't love her that much. <laughs> so I stayed in Manchester and uh, um, I, I now uh, come back to Nottingham as much as I can. Great so, I mean, uh, How does it influence you still, though, this time you spent there? Uh, you seem to, you've, you've got the accent clearly. Uh, I can't get, uh, uh, there's no way I could get rid of the Nottingham accent. <laughs> I, I quite love that. I actually live in Rodine in Brighton at the moment, and I, I'm the Beverly Hillbillies of, uh, of Rodine, I think. Um, uh, I love the Nottingham accent. I love coming from Nottingham. There's a great tradition in Nottingham. Um, I, I just made the uh, film, uh, I Believe in Miracles, with the Forest uh, players, and uh, it's quite funny, when I'm talking to them, they say, uh, oh, is it, you're making a film about us, is that OK? Uh, and I'm thinking, any other city that I'd go to, they'd be, they'd be jumping up and down, shouting about uh, winning the European Cup twice. Uh, there's a sort of a quietness to uh, Nottingham. That we don't like to come the big I am. Yeah. But there's a great defiance as well, uh, I think uh, uh, epitomised by the uh, loneliness of long distance runner and um, uh, by Saturday night, Sunday morning. You're a big fan of Silito. I'm a very big Silito fan. Uh, I'm stood here where I would like the Alan Silito statue to be. Uh, I think this would be perfect. This used to be where um, the statue for Queen Victoria was. Um, I, I don't, never read anything she wrote. I didn't think she were that funny. Uh, um, but Alan Silito has shaped my life. Uh, I, as, a, as a young man, wondering how I could compete in the world with people uh, from all over the world, Alan Silito gave me something. He gave me an understanding of um, how you could have your own voice, and that voice could be a Nottingham voice, uh, and it can compete in the world. And uh, I would like us to provide a platform uh, for other people in Nottingham to have that inspiration. Yeah, you met Silito as well. I met Alan Silito. Uh, funnily enough, uh, I, I started the Manchester Poetry Festival. Uh, I was there for 15 years, and uh, I, I wanted there to be uh, a poetry festival um, at somewhere urban because I'd been doing all these uh, um, uh, rural festivals, and I did about a thousand gigs, and a lot of them seem to be rural. And a lot of the poetry that's written nowadays is uh, is urban. And uh, as I started a festival, I thought I'm going to get my favourite uh, people on. And I, I got, brought Alan Silito and I put him on with me. So essentially, uh, I liked him that much, I, I paid him to come to Manchester. <laughs> oh, brilliant stuff. And uh, you found him to be a nice guy. You've contributed to his new uh, video anthology. Yeah. Uh, I, I thought Alan Silito was a, a, a lovely guy. And um, I, as I say, I, I think there's a. Um, in his writing, uh, and uh, I know he stood up to uh, the Russian uh, regime when he made a speech, there's a certain. Um, quiet defiance that I like about him uh, and I've got to say probably uh, D.H. Lawrence and, and Byron as well and a lot of writers and modern writers from, from Nottingham. Um, I, I think we are a city that um, uh, has got a bit of uh, s a sense of self and a bit of spark uh, and I, I like that about Nottingham. And, uh, of course, you wrote The Royal Family, co-wrote The Royal Family. I co-wrote The Royal Family, yeah. Um, how did that come about? I thought, what, what can I write that Stephen Fry couldn't write better? And now Stephen Fry is not a working class lad from uh, a council estate in Nottingham, so he couldn't write the royal family. But Carolina Hearn, uh, who lived on a council estate in, uh, uh, um, in Manchester and Craig Cash in Stockport, we got together and we basically wrote down what our parents said. So the first line in the royal family is, who's been phoned in Aberdeen? Uh, and that's because my dad would always complain about bills, and so we, we had that. So, I was going to see if this is the Alan Silly Toe. Uh, Let's see, see who it is. I think it's an unknown one. Rather. Or it could be the Byron. Let's have a look. No, it's, it's a tram without a name. That is, in fact, the tram with no name. Do you think there's a chance one day we'll have a Henry Normal tram? Uh, a lovely little space there for Henry Normal, you never know.
the Nottingham Poetry Festival is on at the moment. Tell us a little bit about how that came about. So the Poetry Festival uh, started last week. We've, uh, we've had, uh, um, oh, I, I would imagine, uh, it's somewhere up to 100 poets uh, uh, perform already. I've been to a lot of the events and there's been lots of open spots. There's been a lot of people reading poems for the first time. Um, I, I was at two last night. I was at one, strangely enough, I was at one in the Central Library, which is where I started uh, 40 years ago. I went to a, a club at the Central Library um, uh, we had a, an event for Christmas, I got up, I read one poem and people laughed and had I not got up and read that poem, I wouldn't have had a career in television and film and I, I wouldn't have made uh, uh, all the things that I've made so far. So we could almost take, say Alan Partridge is responsible, uh, the library is responsible for Alan Partridge. Well, uh, I, I didn't uh, write Alan Partridge, I now produce Alan Partridge, but uh, a, a lot of the stuff that, uh, that I've uh, been, been involved in, Mrs Merton's show, Paul Calf, uh, Coogan's Run, um, and a lot of the shows that I've produced, like Philomena the film uh, and Alan Partridge, um, I wouldn't have been able to do any of that had I not had a platform to be able to uh, show that I could do something and I got the courage to do something and I got the stamina to carry on doing something. And that's what I'd like to do with the, uh, uh, the Nottingham Poetry Festival. I'd like to provide a platform, but I'd like it to be regular. I'd like it to come under the uh, City of Literature build. I'm hoping we'll have the City of Literature by the time we get to it next year. I'd like to uh, ally with the, um, uh, the Festival of Words and I'd like to get the whole of the uh, community together, the literature community, but also the, the wider uh, arts community. And it's a thriving place, Nottingham, much more so than when I was 20. When I was 20, there was uh, uh, the Midland Arts Centre, uh, there was a central library, and there was very little else. It's, it's such a vibrant place now. What do you think actually makes Nottingham a, a city of literature? I think uh, Nottingham's got, uh, it's got a tradition of literature from D.H. Lawrence, uh, Byron uh, um, and uh, uh, Alan Silito, but it also uh, I think it's about the modern people and the next generation. I, I want to see the next Alan uh, yeah. uh, Silito, I want to see the next Byron, I want to see the next D.H. Lawrence, and I, I want to see uh, all the disciplines, you know, uh, uh, poetry and uh, you know novels and everything. Um, I think there's probably a lot of undiscovered voices out there. So, so you'll hopefully be discovered them uh, with the Poetry Festival in, in years to come? I, I'm open. So I, I, so I started the Manchester Poetry Festival. Uh, it lasted for 10 years and then became the Literature Festival, and it's still going. I don't think uh, there's anything that they can do in Manchester that we can't do in Nottingham.